I got into tattooing because I went to art school and I hated it. Um, the school itself was great. I learned I learned quite a few things, but uh, I was I was ready to be out of the whole school system, I guess. Um, and there was a shop that was looking for an apprentice down the street. So one day I skipped all my classes and I went to speak to them. The gentleman that was looking for an apprentice liked liked my artwork. Uh, I dropped half my classes um, and I replaced those classes with time at the shop. And then eventually, uh, after almost a full semester, I just, I just stopped going to school completely so I could focus on tattooing. Style-wise, it's I mostly do illustrated black work um, or old school black work, um, American traditional. My favorite type of stuff is the is the more illustrative, high detail, um, a lot of stippling, a lot of hatching and cross hatching. I just think it's a it's a fun way to tattoo. You don't really see it a lot in the states right now. It's definitely more fun. It's a, it's more akin to the type of drawing that I've been doing most of my life with uh, pen and ink and everything like that, so it, it transferred easily. It came pretty naturally to me for the most part, but it's, uh, it's a meticulous and uh, somewhat tedious style, but it's, it's always entertaining for me to do. So after working at the East Side Indianapolis shop for about a year and a half or so, maybe a little bit under that, I decided to move down to Austin, Texas with one of my best friends. It's definitely a big change. The, the atmosphere is completely different from where I was working. The area in Indy was um, a pretty low income area. Um, and the area that I'm at now, it's, it's lots of bars, a lot of entertainment, a lot of music, and a lot of people ready to spend money, which is nice. Um, but yeah, the, the, it's, it's, it's a much more hectic environment for sure, but it's nice. It's, 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 a, it's a good challenge to have for sure. Um, the scene down there is a lot of fun. There's a lot of, lot of really talented people down there that you can learn off of, which is, which is another plus for me. Most of my clientele is still based in Indy. I'm, I'm pretty fresh onto the scene in Texas, um, but my my indie clientele is awesome. They've they've always trusted me to let me do what I think would look best. Um, and you know, sometimes they're they're really going out on a limb, and they're they're really putting a lot of trust in me, which I always appreciate. And they always take good care of me around here. I've got a I've got a pretty decent following in the city here, so it's it's always nice to come home when I'm visiting family. I can also visit my clients and do some do some dope shit for them, which is always fun. Eventually, that'll come in Texas, but you know, all in due time. I don't know if there's. The most meaningful tattoo, probably, honestly, the ones that I did on my mom would probably be the the ones that meant the most to me. But I always, the my favorite tattoo, I guess, quote would be, it, it changes pretty pretty frequently. It's because I'm I'm still at that stage where I'm I'm definitely uh, evolving somewhat rapidly as far as what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So I I find how how to do new things pretty pretty rapidly for the most part. So I get to incorporate them somewhat frequently. So, uh, yeah, it changes pretty often. <laughs>